Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and I just want to give you guys a quick update. I'm sure many of you are already very much familiar with this explosion that took place over at La Palma. And the uh, reason why I want to give you a quick update about this is because besides the fact of the explosion itself that took place, and I'm going to play that for you so you can see that. Look at that. And then you're going to start seeing all the debris. Look at that flying over the tops of their head there. I mean, these guys, if they'd have been still standing out from behind that stone there, it could have easily killed them. But in the meeting that I was in the other day, we were discussing, of course, the different things that are going on. One of the big issues that we were discussing was the um, situation with La Palma. And I was told that La Palma is something that, uh, or not just La Palma, but the Canary Islands and the threat of uh, the fracture and the creation of a tsunami is something that the U.S. government scientists have been looking at for nearly 40 years now. And that this is not, even though that, you know, we, we realize that there are things that have been involved, whether it be the Chinese or using weapons to manipulate uh, the situation there at La Palma, uh, and also the possibility that CERN could play a role in this. But the realistic side, as I was told, is that this island and these islands, period, are just um, prime for the scenario that the scientists believe that the southern end of the island could split and literally create a drop off and cause a massive tsunami. At that point, I was told that this is something that is inevitable. Whether it happens now or not or later, it's inevitable. And the concern that the scientists have in America is they really believe that we are fixing to see something like that take place. Um, I was told that the island literally is continuing to fracture and that on that southern end, as you look at that, and I know we've showed uh, video, uh, pictures before, you can see like other vents that have opened up in time. All those are fractures and all those have the potential for the lava to come up through. And that's what literally will just split this island open. And one of the things that I was told is that once it begins to split open, then the ocean will rush in. And when the ocean rushes in, that would also become very explosive. And from what I understand, would just rip this southern end of this island apart. And it, of course, it would take that large section of land dropping into the sea to create a massive tsunami. And one thing that I was told was that it's kind of ridiculous when people put up videos about these little small little landslides dropping into the ocean. So that's nothing. That's what I was told. That's nothing. I said, watch for the, the fissures, the opening up of the earth there going down to the middle on the southern end there. That's what you have to watch for. That's what is going to take place. And they're very concerned that we are very near that. And of course, I was told again that the Biden administration just will not put out a public warning that we are in a very serious situation with this island. Anyway, I wanted to just give you a quick five minute update about this, um, just so that you're aware, especially after seeing this video here, and I'll, I'll play that one more time for you. And watch carefully there, top of your left screen there. Uh, when this thing blows, it looks like a nuclear bomb going off. Watch it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that huge ball that just flew up into the air there. Let me back it up. See, that? almost like a sun there. And it was another vent opening up. And the odd thing is, is the meeting I had, let's see, what was that? That was day before yesterday, probably the same day that this actually happened. This is what I was told, some of the, the events that you'll see. You're going to see more and more vents blowing open. And what is going to happen is just going to keep going right down. And that's what they're concerned about, and that that those explosions, those openings like that in the in the island, are what is going to fracture this island in half. Not the entire island, but the southern 
end of the island. Anyway, I'm Steve Banoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have a blessed day.